I bet you've never seen training like this. He picked up two planks, picked up a tire, then beer bottles and twine, then he put some stones in the sack. He went back and drew a human figure on the wall to mark it. The two men behind him looked confused. He wrapped the bottle in duct tape and hung it up to train his elbow strikes. A sack of rocks to practice knee lifts. Then he fixed the short board to practice the accuracy of the whip. The long boards were tied with twine for striking practice. At that moment, the mainstay of this gym saw Garnet. What's going on here? His name is Kobro. He's the main man here. He's a very fast fighter. He's a fierce fighter. He's a vicious fighter. No one in this gym dares to fight him. Garrett is training, but he came up to him and said it was just a punching bag. Garrett didn't want to talk to him. He got even more aggressive, releasing methane from his mouth. The trainer next to him was trying to discourage him. It was his first day, so he had to save face. But he won't let up. Then I'll fight you like you want. Garrett walks slowly into the octagon. The whole crowd is watching, and they don't think Cobra's eight power shots against him will be enough to knock him out. Cobra comes in with a flying kick. Garrett spins out of the way. Left straight. Right straight. Left swing. Block. The crowd is still taunting Garrett. Garrett is in Superman mode. And suddenly he's on the defensive. Head bit. Knee lift. It's like he's seen all his moves. Then the black tiger's belly. The white tiger retreats. The opponent flew away. Finally. Garrett used his final move. Stormy legs. Elbows and knees. A double punch. Cobra was knocked out. Everyone on stage was stunned. No one knows who he is. He is the strongest man in the world. The king of the ring. Might Garrett. So how come he's here? It turns out that a few days ago, he had been doing odd jobs. He ran into his old friend, Mike Stokes. Mike Stokes is a star with for gold belts. And Garrett is still a handy man. But Mike Stokes knew what Garnet was capable of and invited him to help him train. Because Mike Stokes knew that he would be facing a 2, 8 meters tall, 200 pounds of boxing beast of crazy demon Braga. His punching speed was so fast that it made the sandbag snap. Sitting tightly strapped to a 50 kilogram discus. Violence on the bar. Under the sweat of the whole body. His muscles look shiny and oiled. His powerful aura attracted the attention of the whole audience. Mike Stokes stole the limelight from him. Even Eve, Mike Stokes' manager, was in love with him and asked Garrett out for dinner. What woman wouldn't like a man with a body like that? What they didn't realize was that the coach of the gym was watching every move they made. He told Mike Stokes. Mike Stokes was furious when he heard about it. He's got a thing for Eve too. Back at the gym, he asked Garrett to be his sparring partner. But Mike Stokes took a personal vendetta and hit him hard. Garrett didn't know what was going on. And then he threw a slam. And he went nuts. And he was just pulling eyeballs. You're going to kill him, aren't you? And then he pins Garrett to the mat. And he hits a sucker punch to the back of Garrett's head. Garnet gets up and punches him, then turns around and swings his leg, then throws a right hook, which knocks him out, then a fake left hook and a spinning kick to the right. A crazy combination of punches almost made Mike Stokes cry. I'm not playing with you anymore. When he got back, Garrett thought it was Mike Stokes looking for him, but instead it was one of Big Boss's men handing him a document to sign him. Word got out that Garrett beat to see the champions and Big Boss wanted him. Big Boss wanted him. And of course, Garrett wouldn't agree, because he never fought for money. Big Boss was pissed off when he couldn't buy him off. He asked his men to post Garrett's scandalous story on the internet to ruin his reputation. What he didn't expect was that the video would explode on the internet. Overnight, Garrett became a celebrity. Mike Stokes approached Garrett and apologized for what happened, saying he was too impulsive. Garrett didn't take it seriously. A kebab and the two made up. Mike Stokes continues to train for the fight. And with Garrett's training, Mike Stokes has become a much more effective fighter. A few days before the fight, a new trainer arrived at the gym to teach Mike Stokes the art of the leg lock. Garrett thought the fight would start soon. What if it got hurt? Garrett's mouth was definitely open. Just as he finished, Mike Stokes broke his leg with a crunch. Just then, Big Boss approaches Garrett and asks him to take Mike Stokes' place in the match. Garrett wouldn't do it for the money, but he'd do it for his friend. But then he wonders why it's the right time for this to happen. Why did the boss come to the door at this exact moment? Was it just a coincidence? Then he went to the gym, sneaked into the locker room and pried open the coach's locker. Then he found a shocking secret in his cell phone, which was all arranged by the boss. It was all arranged by the boss to get quiet to fight, because he's so popular right now. And Big Boss can make a lot of money off of him. So what's next for Garrett? This is the most awesome workout I've ever seen. He pulls the sandbags up as high as they'll go. 
he can kick up to 2 meters at 6-3. Bouncing kicks do tons of damage. A combination of punches and a spinning back kick. It's tough and cool. Every punch and kick is solid. The last kick is a flying kick. Who can compete with him? He is the strongest man in the world. The champion of the boxing world. Mike Garrett. But today, he's not facing a man, but a 200 pound. 2 meter 8 tall beast. Brock of the Madman. Before the match began, Garrett had been thinking about how to beat him. If he followed the rules, he wouldn't stand a chance of winning. As if on cue, he walks out of the lounge. And with a smile on his face, Garrett comes over to Braga and taunts him. Because anger can make a fighter lose his mind, it disrupts everything he's doing. Anger makes him think only of the tech, and makes him stiff and inflexible. And that's exactly what Garnet wants. Braga's anger heats up. Head and knees, Garnet throws a quick jab, a backhand, and a side kick. This guy's not human. He's coming in for another swing. Gwinnett ducks and dodges. Right and lefts. Braga hits him in the gut. And Eve yells no. He rips Garnet's shirt off. He doesn't get his wits about him. And Braga takes him out. Garrett is on the ground. Is this how he's going to lose? Garnet grits his teeth. Takes off his gloves. And assumes the stance of a killer. Braga swings hard. Garrett attacks with a punch hitting a huge crater directly on his stomach. Then Garrett postures up and hits the soft spot. Then a trio of straight punches to the stomach. Dodging cuts, backhand punches. Braga is out of breath. And then a weak jab and a drop kick. By now, Braga's out of it. A double kick in the air, followed by a half moon kick. Braga falls to the ground. The whole crowd is cheering. Garrett is definitely the strongest man on earth. Eve is very concerned and comes up to say hello. Just then, Big Boss comes over and says he's violated the rules. It's called a breach of contract. He's suing Garrett. He's going to sue Garrett. Garrett just tells him not to do anything that doesn't work. About Mike Stokes' leg. I can sue you for assault. And I've given the evidence to the police. And then the guys come over and tell them they're gonna have to refund every penny because the game didn't go on. The boss was dumbfounded. And Garrett became a huge star. And went on to have a great career and a great love life.